here's our comparison today. This is between a HV28 LSV, which stands for Large Sound Hole Vintage, and the D28 1937 Authentic. I'm working on the LSV, and I did my usual things with the popsicle brace, the back braces. This one needed a neck reset, too. Just, you know, I'm not sure what year this is, 99 maybe? Anyway, it needed a neck reset. And so I did that. Now, on the HD series, the scalloping stops about an inch and a half away from the X. And as opposed to the mar uh, the Marquis, the GE, the Authentics, they all scallop clear to the braces, uh, clear to the X brace. So one of the things that I um, sometimes do is go ahead and finish that scalloping. It'll give the guitar a bassier, more woofy sound. However, for some reason, LSVs, in spite of the large sound hole, the LSVs tend to be pretty bassy already. And I don't think I've ever finished the scallop on an LSV. So I told the, the customer that I would compare it to the uh, 37A, and you could see you know, how it compared. And after playing it back to back, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd scallop it anymore. I think I'd leave this guitar alone. It's got a really good punch to it. Um, you know, good snap. I, I I'm done. <laughs> I don't see any need to get any more bass out of this guitar. So, so the LSV. I haven't had. I, I've had them in here before, but um, they're interesting guitars because you know they have the large sound hole. They've got a red spruce top, and this is probably a Smokey's red spruce top, which John Arnold cut the trees for, and he can tell you everything there is to know about these tops. Um, I think this is a Smokies. Again, I should have checked the year before I started all this, but I, I remember it being a 99, I think. Anyway, I like the LSVs. There's one thing about them that, that's strange, and I always comment on the necks, don't I? I always talk about the necks. My favorite neck is a, of, of the Martins is a D18GE, if you're going to do a one and three quarter inch neck. The, the D18GE is just fabulous. This one's pretty good, but it's fat up in here. It's really fat. So I've been starting a spreadsheet on neck width and neck depth. And I'm going to show it. I'm going to pop it into this video. And I want you to look at the difference between the, the LSV and the GE and the 37 Authentic. Because one thing I say about the 37 Authentic all the time is how much of a taper it has. And so finally, you know, I sat down and I measured the necks and I put them on, on paper. Now, when I measured the neck depth, I measured what I call the real depth. That is the depth with the strings, the frets, and everything, rather than measuring just the depth of the actual neck because the frets affect it, the strings affect it. And I didn't want to know so much about the necks as I wanted to know the feel. So when I'm playing the guitar, I've got that feel of the frets and the strings and everything together. And I wanted to see um, if I could find anything about why some necks were more comfortable for me than others. And of course, I'm always big on the taper. I don't mind the taper, but I want um, an even taper. And I, I want it to be pretty consistent. So I don't like necks that flare a lot, like the 37. <laughs> This neck here is very consistent, but we'll look at the graph and you'll see some interesting things on it. So, anyway, that's just, uh, this is a uh, HD28 LSV. They're really good guitars. I mean, I really like these guitars a lot. The necks are a little bit chunky for me, but I'd rather have a chunkier neck than a, than a skinnier neck. And I could very easily adapt, adapt to this neck. So. This is a good shining guitar, you know. You know, Indian Rose Red. Nothing super exciting right there, except that, you know, it's nice looking Indian Rose Red. And once again, you know, I like the binding on the neck. I like that white binding and the way it looks with the side and, you know, just everything looks, looks nice. So, if the owner approves of this one, it's going to get packed up and heading home. So, that's our comparison.